Well, we're finally in our brand spanking new press conference room at Barnsley and we're settling in quite nicely, but not at home. Our away form, as I said in the last episode, is really, really good, but we need to sort out our home form if the Premier League dream is to be realised. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and welcome to part 9, no, <laughs> part 9, part 4 of season 4 of The Journeyman with Barnsley, don't know where I got 9 from, I think it's the ninth episode of the season overall, but uh, part 4 of our Barnsley journey, and in today's episode we are taking on uh, Derby County at home, which we'll probably lose, and then we're taking on Hull City away from home, which we'll probably win. Since you were last with us, it's much of a muchness, to be quite honest with you. Um, it, we we be pressed in 2-0 uh, on the road. We then lost 2-0 to Sunderland at home before uh, going away to Bristol City and getting the 2-1 victory. We did fall behind in that game, but Cameron McGeehan and Victor Adeboyeo getting the goals there in that game. Uh, to take us to 11th in the championship with 13 games to go. We have got uh, a 7-point gap to the playoffs and we're also th uh, 11 points behind uh, 22nd placed Wigan. So we should be okay in terms of relegation, touch wood, and, uh, and, and hopefully we'll be able to get a few more victories along the way towards the end of the season and maybe, maybe just maybe, finishing this top 10. I think that would be a really good achievement for our our first season back in the championship um squad performances then top goal scorer is victor adeboye with eight from 14 we've then got six for zandy five for corey smith and three for amir bergovitz top assists is nine for marcus edwards seven for zandy and four for Derek williams top average rating is a 7.3 for Andy Carroll after his four games, a 7.14 for Angus MacDonald, 7.12 for Derek Williams and a 7.0 for Marcus Edwards. In the last five games, the best player has been Zandi. Uh, Edwards has been pretty good as well. Uh, Corey Smith and Rob Hughes also putting in really strong performances recently. So, this is the team that we are putting out there today. There's a lot of rotation in there because there's some quite bad conditioning um, so you know bear that in mind when we think about today's result so Adam Davies will start in goal we've then got Fredericks, Byrne, Pinnock and Williams in defence we've then got McGeehan and Yates in the middle of the park with Zandi, DeSantos and Berkovitz starting behind Victor Adeboyeo up top so let's get into it Hopefully we can uh, put on a show for the fans and uh, and actually get a victory at home for the first time uh, since the Reading game, which was my second game in charge, um, or second home game in charge, I should say. Uh, and yeah, and before that was Villa, I think, which was our very first game in charge. You guys saw it on camera. It was an absolutely brilliant performance, and we thought, well... You know, if we can do this against top of the table Aston Villa, what can we do against the rest of the teams? As it happens, Aston Villa have dropped off a bit, but here's Berkovitz with the corner. McGeehan, oh, it's just over the bar, unlucky there, but um, we have sorted out the set pieces and stuff, so uh, we've got the... the the, the, the crosses going in towards the far post. We're going to have um, the, the, the defender whoever that may be, attacking the far post and uh, hopefully getting us a few goals in the process, just like we did at Shields. So here's Fredericks, gets it into the middle, and uh, Scott Carson still playing. I honestly can't believe he's still going. Um, he, mu he must be ancient now, surely. But uh, perhaps not. Perhaps he isn't. Here's uh, Bergovitz on the left-hand side. He's pushing forward now. What can he do? He's still going, Bergovitz, on this left-hand side. Gets it in towards Zandi. Oh, it's off the roof of the net. And, uh, well, still nil-nil here. Let's have a little look at Scott Carson. He's 36, so he's not 
he's not that old for a goalkeeper. Still probably got a good three, four years at, at this sort of level. Um, and, uh, yeah, good for him, you know, very, very good for him. Certainly established himself at Derby County. Here's Giovanni Dos Santos. Now McGeehan in Adeboye, it's, it's away. And now here's Griffiths. Here's uh, Mitre on this left-hand side. He's pushing forward. Can we get the tackle in? No, we can't. Oh, it's a penalty, and this is going to be their first chance of the game. Ah, and that is annoying. Derek Williams with the yellow card as well. It's going to be Bitten that steps up. Can we get the save out of Davies? Oh, he's sent the wrong way. And it's 1-0 Derby County. And the trend continues, um, which is annoying, to say the least. It really is. Uh, good penalty, though, sending the keeper the wrong way. Uh, lovely placement. And it's 1-0 Derby. Not a lot we can do about that. He has bitten on the ball now. Williams heads it away. He has Bergwitz. Can we hit them on the counter-attack? That's the ball over the top. Adeboye was there in his prime. And it's a great save from Carson. But those are the situations that Adeboye has been relishing this season. Bergwitz gets it into the middle. It's headed away. Now he has Pinnock. Pinnock on the ball. Gets it wide to Byrne. Dan Byrne is probably going to lose it. He has Williams. Now Giovanni De Santos, McGeehan, De Santos, Zandi, oh it's off the post, and Callas gets it away. <coughs> Pardon me, sorry about that. Uh, this cough has returned, the, the one that plagued the, the early part of the journey man is, is back. Here's Berkowitz, gets it into the middle, now burning it in, and that's our first set-piece goal, and that is what you get for setting up your set-pieces, and, uh, and there you go, Dan Byrne at the uh, far post, Berkowitz with a pinpoint cross, and uh, a nice little finish there from Dan Byrne, not quite the way I expected the set-piece to go, but it's in, hey ho, and it is one all as we head into half time, which I think is just about deserved. You know, we've had uh, a number of chances, a number of good chances as well, a fair amount of possession. So I think we deserve to go in uh, all all square uh, at the break, and hopefully we can push on in this second half and and maybe uh, get a winner and and, and end this uh, curse of a home run at the moment because it really is blighting our form. You know, I think we're scared to play at home at the moment um, because our form has been so poor. But uh, we'll tell them to get creative and then we'll bring on uh, somebody for Zandi who's managed to get himself injured. So Giovanni De Santos can come on for him and then we'll put <coughs> McGeehan up there and we'll put uh, Rob Hughes, I think. In there, Adeboye or not having a good game, so we'll put Andy Carroll on instead on support. I'm j I'm just gonna have a drink a drink of water while that's happening because um, th this cough is a very dry cough. It has to be said. <sighs> so yeah. Hopefully uh, Andy Carroll can make a bit of a difference. Hasn't done anything since that first game where he scored a hat-trick. So, you know, maybe maybe he's not such a good player after all. But uh, hopefully he can prove us wrong here. We've got one more substitution to make. I think it's going to be Corey Smith coming on for Ryan Yates. Come on. Got ten minutes to go here. This second half has been really boring. Let's at least get one chance. A corner or something like that. Just doesn't look like it's going to happen. I don't even think we've had a highlight in this second half. Although here's Carson. Now Williams. McGeehan. We're on the counter-attack. McGeehan gets it wide to Williams. This could be a late chance. Williams. Oh, he's lost it. That could have been the chance right there. And it's cleared. And now Derby on the counter-attack. Here's Mason Bennett. Great tackle from Pinnock. Now Mitre, here's Lau. Lau on this left-hand side. Gets it in and Bennett's there. Oh, my word, it's off the line. How has Pinnock got that away? <sighs> I thought that was it there. I really did. And Berkovitz boots it clear. And I guess we've got a point out of today. That's a point that we weren't expecting. Our form has been terrible. 
And, uh, well, that's a terrible tackle from Bergovitz, and that gives them a final chance here. There could be a red card, to be honest with you. It was from behind. Nah, he's just giving him a, a talk and two. Is it going to be full time, or is Lawrence going to get the chance? He gets the chance to boot it in. He has Bennett. Oh! Saved by Davies. Thank goodness for that. And, and about a minute over time here. Is he going to blow for full time? Yes, he is. There we go. One all in the first game of today. A little bit disappointing in the end, you know. Again, we've dominated and, and just not took any of our chances. So, I guess we're going to have to go to Hull and, and learn how to shoot. Well, quite a few changes for this match against Hull City then. Uh, Angus MacDonald comes back in at centre-back and we've also brought in Rob Hughes and Corey Smith into the midfield with Edwards and Lucas also coming into the team. So five changes for this match. Oh, we've got too many lone players. Um, oh, right. Okay, Lucas isn't going to play then. We're going to put on uh, Giovanni De Santos. On that left-hand side instead, and we'll take Lucas out of the squad and put Berkovitz there instead. So I think that should work now. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, um, hopefully we'll be able to get a decent result today. We've been brilliant away from home, as I've been proclaiming, you know, for a while. And um, yeah, I mean, Hull City are a good team. I would love to manage Hull City in the journey, man. Um, I don't know why, but I've always had a a, so <coughs> a soft spot for uh, Hull City ever since uh, they got the Premier League in 2009 with Phil Brown. But uh, he has had a ball. Yeah, well, with a chance and it's in, but I think it's offside. Oh, that is, that is disappointing. I thought we'd done it there. Deary me. He was well offside, though. He was well offside. Anyway, but yeah, when the when when they were managed by Phil Brown, that Giovanni goal at the Emirates, yeah, definitely uh, always had a, a soft spot for Hull in there. They're in a spot of bother, nineteenth place. So you know, I, I I don't see us being at Barnsley forever. So definitely, if that job came up, uh, I would be more interested than not. Here's Hughes. Hughes on the ball, crosses the player now to Williams, Williams to Smith, here's Smith on the ball with a shot, oh, it's off the bar, wow, I thought that was miles off, but it just seemed to keep dipping, and uh, and again, you know, look at this, look at this, Th these stats were just playing really well, but unfortunately not taking our chances, and it is going to cost us, you know, in more games than it's not, so... Yeah, here's Burn. Burn on the ball now. Fredericks. Fredericks on the ball forward. Is Andy Silver now? Here's Edwards. Good tackle. Now here's Edwards again. Oh, it's just wide. Unlucky there. But uh, that that was after three minutes. It, it seemed like it was straight from the kickoff. That's ridiculous. <laughs> here's Adeboyeo. Gets it forward. Now here's Giovanni De Santos on this left-hand side. He's pushing forward. Gets it back to Williams. Switches the play. And now they're going to catch us on the counter. Angus MacDonald there. First game back for him. Here's uh, Magrini now. Stengel. Oh, it's a good save by Davies there. We're going to go attacking. And now Mugni into the middle. Device. Uh, oh, it's off the bar. And now it's away. <laughs> Oh, that was rather fortunate on our behalf. And 35 minutes in, Hull are coming back at us now. But here's Giovanni De Santos with the corner in towards. Uh, I, I don't know who that was. Burn, I guess. Here's Giovanni again. Oh, he's lost it and it's away. Now Miller. Hall gets it forward. Now here's Miller. This is going to be Hull's chance. Miller in the middle and it's 1 0. Joe Powell with the goal there. <sighs> and this could be the end of our wonderful run away from home. And then, then you start to worry, you know, because if we're not winning at home or away, then we're in a lot of trouble. But, uh, yeah, it was just a, a classic FIFA goal there. Passing it across the box and a, a, and a good goal. 
a good finish, I guess. Down to 13th place, and all of a sudden, you know, I think things aren't looking quite as impressive as they were uh, a few episodes ago, you know, where we were riding high in the top 10, but, um, you know, they're, they're, this is the thing, we're, we're inconsistent at the moment, and uh, we definitely need better in this second half, we can still come back from this, and, and we may well do, but it doesn't take away from the fact that we are just inconsistent at the moment, right, get creative out there, boys, come on. And a boy here again, not turning up, and that is a that is a problem, you know. When your top scorer just isn't scoring, uh, that that is a problem. <laughs> um, we'll stick Giovanni on the the right hand side um, as an inside forward. We'll have uh, Amia Bergovitz on the left, and and hopefully we'll have some creation here, here's Edwards with the free kick, what a save, here's Bergovitz, it's in, yes, Amir Bergovitz, his fourth goal of the season, he's just come on, and a, a decent free kick there from Edwards, let's have a little look at it, unlucky not to score himself, but Bergovitz was there, and managed to put it in. I'm struggling to speak in this episode. It's just such a dry cough. It's horrible. But uh, <sighs> hopefully, hopefully we can push on now and maybe get the W. Come on, Hull have only really had that one chance. So you know, I mean, again, we've broke the twenty barrier in terms of shots. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Here's Hughes. Hughes on the ball now. Giovanni. Giovanni into the middle. Edwards is there. Yes. <laughs> Ten minutes to go, and we have went two one ahead. And this this is crazy. This is what we've been doing away from home. But for some reason, we can't do this at home. And and there's Giovanni. Pushing forward, lovely cross. And Edwards puts it in. And all of a sudden we're back up to 10th position. It's like nothing happened. It's it's crazy. Here's Stangle. Now Edwards. Stangle gets it forward. It's away by Lehigh. He has Hughes. Gets it forward at Bergovitz now. Oh, that was a chance. <coughs> this is ridiculous. Ridiculous guys. Ah, oh, the things I do to put daily football manager up. Oh, he's injured now. Lower leg injury could be a, could could have a broken leg. Which should be a shame. This has been his best performance so far. Well, there you have it, full time, and we've got the victory. Another victory away from home. We we, we are just gonna have a look at this. Before we end things off this episode, before I, I die and uh, tomorrow's episode is my funeral, um, we, we are going to have a look at our away form. He's out for four to six weeks, that's a bit of a problem. Hold on, is that? No. Uh, leave to physio. A tight calf, okay, that's not too bad. <coughs> I just can't believe this. Right. We've won five away games in a row, which is really good. I think that's where we're going to leave it before I die. <laughs> so if you have enjoyed that, then make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Sorry about the coffin and uh, the, the dry voice in general. Hopefully it'll be okay tomorrow. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.